Hi everyone and thanks for stopping by Pizza Raj. I'm currently working on a new engine build video which actually is an old engine build video. This is the block for my Cobra engine which I made the videos from for the Cobra engine build part 1 and 2. And as you can see I'm starting all over from scratch. And I'm doing that for several reasons. If you recall on the dyno test I had an internal oil problem that I had to solve and that required me to machine some of these oil return holes that were misaligned with the cylinder head and I had some internal passage that I wanted to clean up and uh, part of the cam board that I cleaned up just to make sure it was going to run right and was going to uh, lubricate properly and not have the engine uh, have that oil problem I was having an intake manifold because it's fuel injected. Now what's going to be different about the video I'm making now is that rather than just making it an assembly video I'm going I'm to go through each step and talk about the uh, critical dimensions, clearances, gaps, how to check certain things so that when you put your engine together you know what to check for. It's a little more in depth uh, as time goes on, YouTube gives me more and more time to put vi into videos. So now I can go up to like 30 or 45 minutes so I have more time where I can put it in more detail. So that's what I'm working on right now. But what I'd like to share with you today is something that I've uh, stumbled across or uh, someone introduced me to. And, and, one of, and it solves one of the, or answers, one of the uh, most common questions I get. And one of the most common questions I get is, uh, what's going to happen if I change my cam and put this cam in in place of this cam? Or what kind of piston should I use? Uh, what kind of intake manifold should I use? And, and there's a lot of questions around what should I use? Or how do you know what parts to use when you build an engine? If you're going to build an engine from scratch. And believe it or not, there's an app for that. Uh, the app is for both, for both the iPhone and Android phones. And you can find it on uh, uh, Play Store or I think iTunes has it, you can find it. It's called Engine 2L Box. Uh, it's created by uh, HotRodderApps.com and you can also find it on Facebook. And the nice thing about this app is you, you can talk to the people who develop the app, ask questions, make suggestions, and I helped develop a couple parts of this app just to make sure it gave more inf information. But this app is really, really cool and it's going to help you if you're going to build an engine. So let me show you a little more detail of what this app can do for you to help you build an engine and help you choose the right parts. Now, what makes this app great is that it's only a buck ninety-nine, so you can't go wrong for everything this thing does. Again, it's called the Engine 2L Box, and, and this is what it can help you calculate. It can help you calculate your engine displacement, and your engine displacement based on your bore, stroke, cylinders, resultant displacement, um, different characteristics of your block, you can calculate your compression ratio based on your bore, stroke, gasket cylinder, gasket compression, chamber CC, piston dome diameter, rod length, closing points for your valves, compression ratios. Uh, it'll help you uh, calculate your compression heights, cylinder head horsepower potential, which is a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat example and, and, and pretty neat app you can use to to calculate what you're going to do, uh, calculate your valve lift, your valve lift based on your cam lube, rocker arm uh, ratios, valve lift, uh, so if you want to choose in your rocker arm ratios you want to know what your valve lift is going to be. There's some converters in here, cubic inches to uh, cubic centimeters and to liters. There's also an information page that's uh, very good, it tells you how to use the engine CID, help to help, uh, more information about compression ratios and what they mean and how to use them in calculations. Um, with examples, there's a cylinder head power potential ex explanation here, which is really pretty good. Volumetric efficiency of engines, so the cylinder heads conversion between cubic inches and cubic centimeters. Uh, valve, that's so a, a, a lot of good explanations here of what the app can do. And it has a, a data tab where you go into data and it'll, it'll give you pictures and how to measure pistons, how to measure pi rings, how to measure your crank, how to measure your rods, and it has, it's loaded with standard data tables for uh, the deck heights for standard Cuban displacement engines from different Chevy, Ford, Honda, uh, Mopar, AMC, all, all the standard tables for your deck height. So there's a ton of information in this thing that will help you out when you're building your engine instead of having to try and look it up. So for a buck ninety nine, it's really worth it. Again, it's engine two L box. You can see that right here, and it's created by. Uh, let me start this all over again, and I'll show you. You see the uh, the engine two L box uh, by iStudio Mobile. And it's by HotRodderApps.com. So if you're going to look it up, you can go to go on look at their website and check it out. And they have a couple other apps about frames and 
and uh, engines and a few other cool things that will really help you out. So check that out. I really like this app. It's really handy to have. So as soon as I'm done with the engine, putting it together, I'll post a video. But in the meantime, check out the app. Check out the website, hotrodderapps.com. A lot of cool things there that can help you answer a lot of your questions instead of having to dig around the internet trying to find the information you're looking for. I think it's worth it for a buck ninety nine. You can't go wrong. If you have any questions, give me a call. I can put you in touch with some of the well, uh, the app developers. Great people to work with. Uh, thanks for stopping by Peace Garage. Stop back soon. Check out the new build video for the Cobra engine. And this will be from painting the block all the way to the dyno test. We'll get some final numbers on this baby, and I'll throw it in the car, and it'll be in the it'll be mounted in the frame for good. Then I'll move on to building headers and transmissions and all that other good stuff. So thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.